At this heavy flow waterfall, a tide girl was struggling to hold on a piece of metal, but she slipped off because the flow was really strong. Thanks to her survival instinct, she luckily held on another piece of metal. But worse thing kept coming. There was a deep waterfall below her. She was in a dead end. What else could she do? She held her breath, lifted her feet up and finally got on the metal sheet. Again, she realized worse thing was coming. She was on a rusted wing of an old plane, and it was going to fall down. The plane could not hold on anymore. She was in an extremely dangerous situation. The girl carefully stood up. She had to jump to the other side before the plan fell down. Could she do it while her hands were tied? Her name was Laza. She was a refugee and was sold to a cotton field in Philippines. There was an old man struggling in his non-stop coughs. The local ordered him to keep on working, but he was killed right at the moment he intended to stand up. These refugees were all healthy, but they could not do anything, not even creating a noise. They were all holding their breath and prayed for their life. Laza had been here for four years. Today was the day she decided to escape this place. Her teammate hit a man by the shovel to diverse the attention. Laza cleverly dodged the bullet. Hiding behind a stone, she had escaped many attacks from the enemy. Her teammate this time cut the rope, a metal gear fell down, caused everyone to run away. Laza took the chance, crazily ran outside. She suddenly stopped by a bridge. This might be the most difficult choice for her at the moment. Laza could hear the gun of the locals nearer and nearer. She must make a choice now. She quickly climbed up a dry branch. Unfortunately, just for the moment, the locals got here and started shooting. Laza could not make it to the other side, slipped and fell to the waterfall. Luckily the water was deep enough to save Laza from death. The locals were angry looking Laza was flown away by the water. She was the first people to escape this place. Laza acknowledged that the water took her to a more dangerous place. She stood on the plane's wing and held her breath. At this moment, the tail of the plane started to shake violently. It was about to break. Laza had to jump on the other side before the tail broke. Otherwise, she would be dead if she fell down that deadly waterfall. She took all her strength running, she jumped and successfully gripped the plane's body. Laza was still in fear. She bit her lip, tried her best to climb up. She found a hole, jump inside. Laza once again survived. She cut the rope and freed her hands. Suddenly, the plane started shaking again. Time was running out, she held on tight to the floor. At the same moment, the flow rushed in and flushed the plane. Laza immediately fell down. There was no time for Laza to breath, one metal sheets broke. Then two, then three metal sheets broke. She shakingly looked up and saw a parachute bag. She fixed her posture, slowly leaned up and grabbed the parachute bag. But the final sheet of metal could not hold on any more and broke. In the moment of life and death, Laza managed to launch the parachute and finally survived. Laza woke up and knew that she was in an odd world. At night, he saw a man looked alike her father. Why would a dad crazily get to hide when he saw her daughter? It turned out her family was all tomb riders. Over the past four years, Lara was searching for her dad and was sold to Philippines. Meanwhile, she acknowledged that growing cotton was a fake reason of the locals. These locals wanted to raid the tomb. Quickly, the locals caught up with Laza. They forced her to open up the results of Laza's dad work. A thousand year ancient tomb. All the stuff inside were very odd. A bunch of spiders came out from a skull, which was very terrified. Suddenly, a spear came from the ground and killed a man. They came to a broken bridge, below was all human bones. They used a ladder as a bridge, the other side was a mysterious world. Metal sheets on the floor was falling one by one. They had to solve the puzzle before falling down. Laza tried several times, but she still could not solve it yet. Would this discarded blue headstone work? It did work. They were going deeper and deeper. Right in the middle, there was an enormous metal coffin. Open the coffin, they saw a woman's body wearing odd clothes. There were a lot of weird tattoos on the corpse forehead. Suddenly, the corpse contacted the air, then was continuously steaming. The previous skin faded away and transformed into a black skeleton. The locals used their hand to lift the skeleton, but suddenly it jumped up. They were all scared, stepped behind and pointed the gun at the skeleton. After a few minutes of silence, they figured out all of this was a setup. The soldier touched the corpse. His hands were poisoned and turned black. The poison spread all his body, he started to sound scary, gradually lost his mind, started to shoot people. The poison soldier spotted the leader. The leader became the soldier's prey. The leader shot twice, the soldier was killed. The leader knew that this corpse has a huge value. He broke the corpse's finger, Laza looked at her father, realized that this was the chance. She robbed the knife, slashed and disarmed the other soldier. Lara's father shot the leader. When Laza and her father were close to the victory, the corpse of the poison soldier woke up. He was mutated. He stood right up, disarmed Laza's father and hit him hard. On the other side, Laza was hiding in the dark but the noise attracted the soldier. He crawled into the small hole and pulled Laza out. Laza stepped on a trap, a deadly trap rushed into her. She jumped up and lied down. The soldier big body became his weakness. He was stabbed by the trap and died. At this moment, Laza's father has been poisoned and mutated. The father used his last breath to tell his daughter to pressure the leader. Laza kicked the ladder down which was the only exit and started a death match with the leader. She was beaten hard and barely fought back. The leader stepped on Laza's hand, 
pointed the knife into Laze's neck. In this life and death moment, there was an explosion in the tomb. Laze's father wanted to prevent himself from killing other people. He sacrificed himself. Laze took this chance, kicked the leader down, stuffed the corpse's finger inside the leader's mouth. He was about to mutate it. Laza kicked him hard and made him fall down. That explosion made this tomb to collapse. If Laza could not escape, she would be buried here forever. Laza picked up a knife, tried her best to jump to the other side. The knife was not stuffed in and continuously to slide down. Laza used the knife and hand to climb up. When got to the slope, she immediately ran. In the last moment, she could hold on the rope. Successfully escaped this deadly tomb. This was the end of the film. The file is based on the game named Tomb Raider, Legend Starts. The film strictly follows the game rules. In the film, the character of Laza was overpowered and was able to survive in impossible situations. In the film, the character of Laza was overpowered and was able to survive in impossible situations. If interested, please like, share, and comment. See you next time.